I don't know what this phenomenon is. Um, I've seen it again and again with myself and other critically sleep deprived people. And I don't mean on and off insomnia and just trouble sleeping or staying asleep. I mean like critical suicidal insomnia. And there are not many people out there in that condition. But there are a couple here and there. And the odd time, I do actually get a couple hours of sleep. Like once or twice a year, I'll have, uh, I've had four or five hours of sleep. Um, I feel so much worse in, in some ways, like my spine and back, my neck and spine hurt so bad right now. I'm really worried about it. And it seems like whenever we do get a little bit of sleep, I've lost, I've lost even who those people were. I never really did know them, but I would just run into people. And you can tell, but if you ask the right questions, you can tell who actually is critically sleep deprived and who just has bad insomnia. But for some reason, whenever we do get sleep, whatever health issues we might have, they're much worse after we get a few hours of sleep. So I wonder what that's about. I wish there were some qualified sleep specialists around. When I started, um, I was in acute benzo withdrawal, uh, clonazepam withdrawal when I was researching sleep disorders like crazy. And this started, well, it started years ago, but it, uh, the critical, like, suicidal insomnia, one to two hours of sleep every 24 hours, um, started almost a year prior to benzo withdrawal. And in acute benzo withdrawal, I was researching sleep disorders like crazy because I just didn't feel like I was going to make it. And I saw one article online written somebody was interviewing uh, an American sleep specialist and <laughs> I think I still have his phone number and he was boldly complete boldly um why can't I talk right now boldly claiming that he could solve any sleep issue he could solve anybody's sleep disorders so, I mean, this is an American writing an article, a worldwide article. It's the internet, for goodness sakes. And uh, claiming that he can help anybody with serious sleep disorders. So I called him. <laughs> Seems perfectly reasonable to me. And then, you know, maybe if he thought he could help me, maybe my insurance could pay for it. Maybe I could pay for it, whatever. And he was just incredulous. Like he couldn't get over himself. It was just incredulous. How, why are you calling me? Why? I'm in another country. And he's just couldn't get over this and just went on and on about it. And I said, listen, you made an article in an international worldwide magazine claiming you can help solve anybody's sleep issue. And I'm calling you and you see, seem dumbfounded. And uh, <laughs> anyways, I ended up yelling at him and hanging up and <laughs> he actually called me back. He collected himself and got over himself and called me back and he went, he called me back and was on it again on why would you be calling me? Blah, blah, blah. I said, like, think about this. You put an, uh, like an, almost like an advertisement in an, uh, like a newspaper article online worldwide, when we're searching sleep disorders and stuff, we can find it. Anybody in the world might be calling you because you're advertising yourself that you can cure anybody. So that's why I'm calling you. And he finally understood and said, no, I, I can't help you, blah, blah, blah. Uh, he didn't, he, I asked him a few questions. He 
said, no, I don't know. It's, you know, it wasn't helpful at all. So anyways, uh, so yeah, the topic of when critically sleep deprived people actually do get a little bit of sleep, they feel usually like physically much, much worse. Usually my mood is better. Physically, I'm in so much pain and neck and back and just spine. And, and last night was so, so painful. It's just terrifying. And I can't really take any drugs because my breathing is too slow. It's too much of a risk. I think the long-term prescribing they did to me and they overdosed me a few times. I think they buggered up my breathing somehow. And I don't know. I don't know what's going on, but... <clears throat> I'm really nervous going to bed because, you know, I'm terrified I might not sleep. I'm terrified I'm jumping the gun and have gotten too hopeful. Anyways, I just wanted to share that. Good night.